So yeah, just uh, how the guys did in the tour of duty, particularly you know the defensive ends. Like, how did you feel like they, they handled it? You know, it's, it's a pretty it's a pretty veteran group coming back. Obviously, we we got some new guys with uh, Lamont Green and uh, Gilbert and, and Jay didn't really participate fully in it. But um, you know, a lot of guys coming back who've been through it. And you know, biggest thing for me is I saw marked improvement. You know, I, I saw um, you know a Derek McClendon, a Pat Payton, a Jared Verse, a Byron Turner, a Dante Anderson, all one year more experienced, all all kind of one year better understanding of what we're trying to get accomplished as a program and I think they approach their work in a really veteran type way. And I think you know coach talked about Jared and some of the guys that made decisions to come back and Derek probably made a decision too um, about not just come back just come back but how hard they're going to be pushed but what have you seen from him embracing that? Well you know that was you know with Jared that was probably one of the, the first things that he and I talked about Right immediately after he, he made the, com- the decision that he came and told me and made the comment that he was going to come back to me, um, was okay. Now starts the hard work because I'm not letting you come back if it's not with the absolute mindset that no matter what we do on a daily basis, it's only focused to get better. Um, and and because I would feel like I was was doing him a disservice if I wasn't pushing him that way every day. And, uh, you know, he's that that's been his approach. You know, he's he's had a, a better off season than, than I would say he had a year ago. Not that he had a bad one a year ago, but like I can see a, a greater focus in the meeting room, a greater attention to detail when we get to the walkthroughs, because I do feel like he wants to take his game to a whole nother level. And when you're a really good player to take your game to an even higher level, it takes all those details and, and small things that people really don't see to be able to take your game to, to be that much better. So um, that's his focus and that's where he is right now. Because a freshman or sophomore can improve a lot by just making a few changes, right? Yeah, I think I think when, uh, when you're young, there's so much you have to improve upon that you can find ways to get better in lots of different areas. When, when you're a little bit more veteran and your game is, is, is um, already established, you've got to really work to, at those small details to find ways to, to make a game better. When you, when he told you, did, did, do you remember the first person you called, or, or, uh, or, um, or did you feel like, you know? I, I think I think my son, who I have a 13 year old boy, is uh, obviously lives and dies by everything that that Florida State does. I think um, he might have been the first person I called and told. I was like, hey, versus back, you know. But um, it, uh, you know, I was I was thrilled. Um, you know, I, I intentionally uh, did not try to. to create those conversations with Jared unless he wanted to create them you know about because I wanted him to be able to make his decision based strictly on what he thought was best for his future and obviously I'm a I have a a little bit of a bias kind of I have a lot more at stake in the decision than than a, a non non uh, biased entity would so um you know, even though I tried to, to stay down the middle on, on my opinion, um, I didn't want to affect him in any way that, that he would he would end up having any regret about coming back. Uh, so when he made the decision, I was super thrilled. What's Gilbert like, as a, just as a addition to the room, like as a, as a person? Uh, Gilbert is, is uh, he's very mature in terms of how he approaches uh, his day-to-day. Um, He's, he's not a loud talker, uh, but he's very businesslike and he's always listening. Um, and he works really hard, you know. So um, I think he's fit in the room really well uh, just because I think the, he has a respect for what we were able to, to build from a defensive line perspective the last couple of years. Uh, but he's ready to come in here and make his impact and make his mark. And he certainly doesn't lack any confidence, but, um, you know, he's, he's kind of came in and, and just – Worked hard, done his job, and uh, let his play kind of speak for itself. Derek is another guy who has a lot of confidence. Uh, what what kind of things? He's another older guy. Yep. Like, what kind of things do you think he's he looking to improve on? Well, you know, I'll give you a one for instance. One of the things we talked about um, coming into this this spring was just to gain a little bit of weight. Um, I think he's up eight pounds. Uh, he's held in the low two fifties uh, all all through this winter. Um, 
and I, and I think that's going to help his game. Um, just from a standpoint of physicality and durability, I think that's going to help him. Um, he looks quicker than he's ever looked. He's moving better than he ever has. Um, so Der Derek's worked extremely hard uh, through this last you know, six to eight week period. And uh, you know, I, I'm excited to see what, how that translates when we get on the field on, on Monday. And, uh, Coach Fuller, I guess, recently talked about trying different fronts maybe this year and think because of the versatility. And Coach Norvell talked about the versatility. What, what's the key to being able to do that? Is, is, and how much of it is knowledge and how much of it is just their physical talents to be able to do different things? Well, I think you can do more things the more veteran group you have. You know, we have a bunch of guys who have a lot of playing experience, so I think we can, we can have a, a few more uh, wrinkles within our package. Um, and also the fact that we do return so many players you can use a spring or a summer or parts of fall camp to experiment a little bit. Um, and you know, we haven't always had that luxury, uh, especially in our first couple of years, where we really had a, a core group of guys that would be back on a consistent basis. And um, you know, so I think you know our team is ready to kind of take that next step. And um, you know, where we, where that all goes, we'll we'll kind of see. But uh, I do think we have the ability to be a little bit more flexible in terms of what our install is, just because the veteran group that we have coming back. And then uh, what kind of competition, what do you think the competition is going to look like on special teams? Well, on special teams, um, you know, really all spots are, are always, we love them to be where all of them are competitive. But, um, you know, I'm excited about Tyler Keltner who, who transferred in. Um, you know, I think he's going to, to to be a great um, uh, competitive uh I don't know, partners, the right word, but um, you know, for Ryan to push each other, for them to, two to push each other, and um, you know, kind of uh, let that competition play out. Because I, you know, I think I've always believed in Ryan, and I still do. And uh, but I think Tyler's a really good player. So let those two kids, you know, battle it out and see where it goes. And um, really, at all positions, looking forward to, to good competition across the board. And we, 